trying to get my kids in. They were totally pulling me today. All right, guys. Look at them all walking their walk. We got a Great Dane. They're tall. Let me have a little shepherd mix. What is that? Whatever it is, we leave it alone. Whatever's in that dead cactus, I don't want to know. <laughs> But we got a shepherd mix here. We adopted him from Pat. So we had him first and then we ended up getting another Great Dane. So that's Miss Lady there. Very high strung, very active. So active. But, but you know, they're good dogs. Yeah. Good dog, bring a lot of joy to the house. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to turn again. Come here. Come here. All right. Sit, wait. Barney, sit. Barney, sit. Barney, sit. 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 Bar Come on. Sit. Okay, now your turn, lady. Lady, sit. There you go, look at that. Oh, uh, sit. No faking, no fake sit there. There we go. There's my Barney, huh? Barney and Lady. All right, let's go. Go another right red around, and I'm gonna drop Lady's leash. Jets. They've been noisy. There was one that was over our house. When was it? I was outside with the dog. Man, it was loud. It's like, is this an air show? <laughs> been doing a lot of practice and maneuvers and, you know. Close with living near an Air Force Base. Come on. Come on. We're not even that close to the Air Force Base. Air Force Base, I think, is like 20 miles from us, but they drive right, they fly right over us. She wants to go over there, which I don't want to near that because that's where snakes are. Although snakes are not out right now, but it is warm. And we just don't want to chance it, you know. They are, you know, it's winter time. They're not around right now, but that's where rattlesnakes hang out. That's where king snake is not too big of a deal, but still, you don't want to go near it. They, they will bite you still. Come here. If they feel threatened, come on. But we have, last year we didn't even see our king snake this, that last year. So I guess that's a good sign. The one time we found that rat, baby rattlesnake in our yard. Um, we still think it was because our yard, our house, our, this street I should say, is a, it runs with water. So we still think the day before we saw that baby rattlesnake was the day it had a lot of rain. It was like, like poured down rain. So I still think that that rattlesnake came from that. Because we haven't seen them. We only, that was the first time we ever saw one and we've been here going on seven years now. So, but we've seen king snakes. And they say king snakes. If there's king snakes around, there's rattlesnakes around. Come on, back this way guys. So, that's the way we kind of kind of keep you know keep that in mind. Just because we don't we don't really go out of the house either. So hey guys, lady and Barney. Hey, you gonna look at the camera? So, but we do all of our as you see in my videos online. I do have we do have our residence uh, uh, rattlesnakes, not rattlesnakes, tarantulas. Tarantulas and wolf spiders. I'm just say spiders. So their holes should be popping up soon. So um, we didn't even know we had tarantulas until three years ago. We first saw our first one came in our yard. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> What's this doing here? You know. So last year I saw one in our yard. It was just chilling around, running around, walking around. And our neighbor's dogs barking. Yeah, so, but they're, you know, they're 100% harmless. 
I mean, they the times a year before that, two years ago, when we first started seeing the tarantulas, they kept coming in our yard, and I didn't know they were there, and thought the dark spot was, you know, a landmine, you know what I mean? Hey, come here. And it turned out to be a tarantula. So they ran up to it, and they were nudging it with the nose, and I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, like the poor, poor spider, I'm like, no. So, grabbed the dogs, and hollered for my dad to come out and help me get the tarantula out of the yard. So, they were more curious. They kept nudging it. <laughs> Poor spider's like, hey, you know, his front legs are up. And, and he's like, oh, please help me. So, quite interesting, you know. You know we're, we're not in a really rural area, you know. We're near the freeway, even near the, um, you know, we would never thought when we moved here that would be that much excitement because we had that family of bobcats they did relocate those bobcats it was a mom and two babies and, but they were still seen around so but the one that had the babies that were they were right in that area in the yard that's where the camera we had set up there and um they were playing right there so not too far from our that's our fence that's where they're playing so and then we had a resident uh skunk family Thankfully, it was just a two, probably a male and a female, but we were able to relocate them before they had any babies, so they were underneath our house, so that was it. Oh, Gordy, what did you do, hon? Wait, how did you do that? What is up with his, I gotta, I think I might change this choke chain out, because this one does not do well for him. There we go. Come here. I want you to spin around. This way, that way. So... Very interesting with the uh, skunks and stuff, but we haven't seen them since we relocated them, so no new ones came. So, and of course, hobbling They've never been in our yard, but they've been in our garage. I mean, our garage, <laughs> our driveway, in our neighbor's yard there. <laughs> and there's one time we were coming home from getting dinner. And and that was my car would park outside. We didn't have the garage set up to park the car inside. And uh, come on, you guys. And um, so I cut out the car with the food, and there was the hobbles in there. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is our food, not yours. Come on. Come on, guys. Walk around. So it's quite interesting. Summer's hot, but we get the thunderstorms. When we get the thunderstorms, it cools it off. But last year. It was just hot all year, all summer. That was the worst we've had seen, experienced here. So, but everybody was hot, even California was. So it wasn't just Arizona. What do you guys keep stopping for? Did I stop? No, come on. Come on, now just do another turn. We're having a good walk today, guys. We're gonna do more, let's go do one more run. Come on, we gotta walk up, walk, walk, walk. So, that's good for you. Kind of hard to get view. I don't, am I zoomed in now? So, all right, we're gonna walk that way, guys. Come on, let's go, guys. Come on, yeah. But anyway, and these cactuses here, I think I just put in the comment of last video. Hold on, I'm really wrapped up around them. Um, it's gonna, they just completely died. Our neighbors is dying too, so it's not just us. I mean, they were tall. And I know when we got work that I'm a couple years ago, he's like, I've never seen him this tall. So I think it's just they got to the age to the point that they just started to die off. But the fact that it was so hot last year, I'm sure it didn't help. It didn't help the situation, help their uh, the health of them. So, but we want to just remove them. We want to put some kind of bushes in front. So hoping to get that done this year. And we do have our. Or one, it's a, it's a girl? Yes, a girl. <laughs> Stop thinking about it. And um, it's doing pretty good. It's gotten a lot fatter since we moved here. But it takes a lot of years. Come here. Come on, you guys. Gosh darn it, you did it again, Barney. Why do you walk on your leaf? This is why we're practicing in a fenced area. Of this, you know, I can't exactly fix their fences, fix their fences, fix their 
fix their leashes in a open area. So just keep working with them. They never really walk on leashes other than to vet, to vet visits. And then I need to have many of those. Okay, come on. Let's go. Are you guys bored? I wish we could do more. Like I, I want to go into my the next year. We have two lots, so but that lot has an open gate. So the gate would have to be closed. And it's that yard over here. The other side of that fence that's ours too, but um Yeah, it's that's gonna be down. Like I wanna get them where they're used to the leashes here before I get them out and about. I mean eventually we like to get out on the street. Walk up and down the street. But walking is not safe here. So pretty much I'll be doing our street only. <laughs> so it's just, there's no sidewalks. You're walking on the street practically and people speed like crazy. So it's just not safe. I hate driving with people, let alone um, walking amongst some of the, some drivers here. Not all, so some. They're just crazy. Okay guys. You guys done? Do you guys want to go in? We did walk 15, 13 minutes. That's a good walk. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to just watch? Those birds are around right now, so you can't watch the birds. Maybe we'll come back out around 4 o'clock when all the birds are around. Yeah. We'll get the, the sounds of the birds. Here's the lady. The fun. Ears up. He's listening. Hey guys, hmm? you guys ready to go in? How about you guys do one more sip for me? Maybe not. She's so pretty though. Very, very pretty. Oh, look, it's stiff in the air. And there's our Barney. So the, the history on him, he was found as a puppy in Tucson on the streets. Um. So we fell in love with him when we saw him at the uh, Pet Smart. They had the adoption event they have with they do with bit with, with pack. So yeah, it's our boy. He's our boy. Very very protective. Adores my mom. It's funny he heard my mom cough. He want to run in the house and run and go check, check on her to make sure she's okay. All right, let's go ahead and end this video. Now I'm gonna say thank you so much for joining and please like and subscribe. Hey, lady, lady, say like and subscribe. <laughs> How about just look at the camera? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and end the video for another successful walking, kind of rusty, but we'll get it. We're gonna get it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to master. He's holding these leashes and him Barney walking on it, lady walking on it. Barney's is just too long. But you can see he's like has it all around his leg right now. So we fix that. But like I said, until I get them to behave and I mean they never had any. We did take her to uh Pet Smart for training, but the trainer was just not good. She just it was too much treats. It was like everything they did was a treat. And that's not how we trained our other dogs. It was you do something and you get love or something like that. And then we treat every once in a while, but not on every thing. Because then they expect it. And there's times that we need them to sit or stay. And we don't have a treat available. So we want to be sure that they're not doing sit for every, every treat. So and that's how we always trained our previous dogs. So... And that's what we're pretty trying to get with him. Right now, they don't have any treats on me. So, but I will probably take him in and them have a treat. So, so please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Say bye, everybody. Say bye. All right, I'm going to end the video.